Hello everybody, my name is Scatter. Welcome back to Divine Journey 2. Um, quick note before we start uh, on the power. I did, uh, I replaced the uh, energy cube from Mechanism with the HP capacitor I had lying around. And the same inputs and everything, everything seems to work fine. So you can see it's full there. If I go uh, kick on one of the excavators, you can see it's, it's, it's working and it's, it's draining. And uh, I come back down here, you should see the uh, capacitor draining. Um, <laughs> I was going to say draining as well. Um, I guess, is this the same problem, I wonder? Because I don't know why this isn't draining now. I swear to God this worked before. And the thing was draining and it was working just perfectly. And now this is running slowly. Oh, 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 no. Hang on, wait. No, this totally is going to work. I just disconnected this earlier because the cable was getting in the way and I said to myself, I don't really ever use this excavator anymore anyway. So I'll just do this, but no. Of course, I'm planning to use it for this. So you can see there, it's working. It, this, it filled up immediately and uh, that should be your first uh, clue that this is draining. So you can see that it's draining um, and yet, you know, when this energy cube was there in its place, uh, it was not draining. So I don't know what the deal is there. Um, of course, I didn't try just placing this back down. Maybe that would, maybe that would solve it. I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just leave the HV capacitor there uh, for the time being. I think before I put this back down, I'll just upgrade it to the uh, to the advanced one anyway. But for now, this should be fine. So let's uh, let's get to the the main event here. I did uh, the uh, the Eye of Gaia did finish uh, infusing awakening. It didn't take very long at all. Um, I mean, all things considered, it took like an hour or two, but, you know, when I mean, you can just leave the game running, it doesn't matter too much. So I don't know what this thing is. Um, I'm a little scared about it. The quest is called Oh No. So that would tell me maybe this was not a good idea, but I can get Atomic Alloys or Ozical Glass. I'm going to go for the Ozical Glass for sure. Um, so that's that. And now does this open... Don't offer it too much. Create an... Craft an Erebus Offering Altar... Now, I don't know if any of these... Gay and Keystone, right? Any kind of solid blocks? Okay, so I guess we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to use the Eye of Gaia to go to Erebus. Sounds good. Once you enter Isica. Okay, so I won't worry about that for right now. Let's just keep going with Erebus. So we need an Offering Altar. Right-click the three required items on it. Well, I don't know what the required items are yet, but um, this looks pretty easy to make. As far as uh, the storage system goes, I, I put a few more things in compacting drawers, and uh, that's kind of it. I did leave. I moved the excavator to a quar uh, quartz uh, vein, so I have a lot of quartz, both of the nether and certus variety. I have a few thousand of, of each of those. Uh, so that's really cool, and I'm excited for that. Uh, but I can just throw those things in there. For, for this, we're going to need a block of gold, and we're going to need some obsidian, and we're going to need, I think it was just some stone. Get some stone there, maybe some, yeah, a couple stone. Oh, no, it has to be, this is any stone brick. I think maybe that just has to be regular stone, which I think I have somewhere. Yeah, right here. And I have some stone bricks even as well. So we need to make some slabs out of that. And I believe it just needed the one. Oh, compressed. Compressed obsidian this is. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. There's the offering altar. Contacting the gods. Don't offer it too much. Don't worry. I don't plan to. Um, I'm not sure where I should put all this. I'm thinking it should be uh, relatively far away from everything, but um, not too far away because we don't want it to be super annoying to get to, I guess. Um, that kind of failed <laughs> as as a mode of transportation there, but let, let's just go up here. This is a nice little clear area for it, right? Get these out of the way. Uh, okay, so offering altar. I don't know what to offer it. Craft two gay and gems. One's needed to enter Erebus, the other's needed to leave. Got it. Okay, so... Okay, you just craft these on the offering altar, I see. So, Baca Diamond is fine. Compressed Obsidian is fine. Implanted Emerald. 
Looks also fine. Okay. So it's just emerald and some emerald nuggets. We do have a fair amount of emerald, so this will be fine. So I need to craft two of these. So I just need to get a, a few compressed obsidian. Two diamond blocks, two compressed obsidian. Well, I'll need more than that, I guess. Okay. That's not too bad. Ah. Hoping not to uh, take the wire damage there. Okay, and then diamonds and obsidian. I should have enough on me from earlier. One of those should be okay. Let's turn all of these into that. One, two, and then one, two. Okay. So I don't know how this works. I assume it doesn't need power. It's more of a, you know, godly offering thing right as the name would suggest so you might want to get out of here but i'm not going to tell you what to do is there going to be a lightning strike maybe oh no nope. something's happening though just heard heard a sound of me picking something up but maybe i use this on it That might have been a mistake. I think it just took some time. Okay. Pick it up. Will I pick it up? There we go. And then one more. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, there's the two of those. So I assume that's maybe the only use of the offering altar. It looks like it is the only use of the offering altar. Okay, so that's fine. So maybe I didn't need to <laughs> put it all the way up here out of the way. But that's okay. Uh, it's totally fine. Obsidian or Nether Quartz are both kind of valueless to me at this point. Um, all Obsidian isn't, I guess. Obsidian's a bit of a pain. Um, okay, and the two Gaian gems. Um, nickel, nickel and Surtis ore are definitely both pretty, uh, pretty valueless to me. But I at least I have a processing chain set up for uh, for Surtis right now, and I don't for the other one. So, uh, well, if I'm not going to be using you for you know what? No, I'll just leave that there. I may need to come back at some point, but um, yes, so I can just throw these in here. I, uh, I moved the enrichment chamber to over here because the quartzite vein, it, it has uh, Certus quartz and it has nether quartz, right? And both of those, um, you know, obviously they don't stack together. So just to process them both at the same time, I did this. I'm still getting the issue, right, where they don't want to like process two things at the same time. And I don't think that's an issue with the Fluiduct. I think it might be an issue with the drawer controller. Like maybe the drawer controller can only say like, give me one of these things at a time. And it has to take like all of it before it's, it's able to take the other one. I have no idea. Once again, if anyone knows, please uh, fill me in, clue me in. But okay, so there's that done. And then the Staff of Gaia, we need to craft two of these again. One to enter, one to leave. Read this if you still manage to get stuck into Erebus. I mean, well, we can slash home, right? We can always slash home. I guess we could set home in Erebus, but I mean, I mean, failing all else, I can just cheat and teleport, right? Um, unless there is an actual way to get out, in which case I guess I would just do that. But um, right, so the Staff of Gaia. So two copper on two silky jewels. Interesting, silky cloth. That's going to be string and gold. I didn't realize there was... I mean, well, I guess I should have realized there was a way to craft it, but I didn't realize that that was the way to craft it. So some silk. I'll need, I think that's about how much I'll need of that. And then a copper rod. I think I have one of still. Uh, I have a tool chest somewhere, don't I? Well, there's, there's copper rod. Okay, and then, right, so I can just make that in the press. I was thinking that it was a tinker's thing for some reason. That would be the tool rod, I guess, right? Which is a very different thing. And then besides this, oh, I didn't realize I had steel rods in there. Uh, besides that, uh, besides that, it's just going to be... Okay, so emeralds for that. I still have some emeralds on me. No, I don't because I put everything back in the system. Some emeralds and vines. I think I have some vines still. Yeah. Okay, so that should be good on that. A 
Am I dumb? Four, eight string. Oh, eight, eight string. Yeah, right, of course. Uh, right, so eight of those, and then two of those, and then two of these. Two staves of Gaia. So gold or glowstone. Take the glowstone there, actually. Okay, are we ready to go yet? Craft a gang keystone, so this is going to be the portal. Build a portal frame out of any kind of solid blocks and fill the middle with leaf blocks. The frame can be any shape, convex or concave, horizontal or vertical. Wait, really? Any shape? That's cool. That's very cool, actually, yeah. So I need some more vines, some industrial leather, which I believe I have. I think it might be in here, right? Just got a few, but that's enough. Um, this compressed obsidian, uh, any stone, two Osgo glass blocks, which I just got out of a reward, right? Not the blocks, but didn't I get more than that? No, I guess maybe I just used it all, all of what I had. Okay. So I need to make some more, uh, which I'm going to need to be reminded here. So it's just osmium refined obsidian, which is obsidian with that, and then glowstone, which is that, and then refined obsidian is obsidian and diamonds, right? In the metallurgy confuser. Yes, okay, so I think I have some of that here. So I just need to infuse them both with obsidian, and I'll grab some glowstone as well. Oh, I'm gonna need more than six, though, because th this only makes one Osgol glass, which if I'm not mistaken, yeah, which kinda sucks, but that's what you have to do. Uh, well, no, actually, no. This will be enough because I have the ingots there. Right, okay. Well, I might as well make some more anyway. It's going to be useful for other stuff. Uh, the osmium compressor should be here with no osmium in it. But that's okay. So, yeah, you'll need to make some of that, but I don't want to make that much right now. That much is going to be fine. So I'll let that cook up. Uh, as long as I'm here, I might as well... Uh, get the rest of the pulverized obsidian refined like obsidian not super hard to come by so I'm not too worried about using too much or anything like that Just head over here. So I need I Guess I need to take some osmium out because you also need this Yeah, the other thing the, the the one thing that I'm thinking I'm gonna need more of in the near future that I don't have a whole lot of right now is osmium but there is an osmium vein nearby here if I'm not mistaken so uh as always, I can just set up an excavator over there like I've been doing. Oh, it's raining. But yeah, super not going to be bad. Like the thing I've been doing lately is just setting up the uh, excavator, setting up a production chain, outputting it to the storage drawers, and then just letting it run all night. And then I wake up with a couple thousand. It's been a nice system. Um, maybe is, is that cheating? <laughs> I don't know. I don't consider it cheating for sure. But... Um, you may, and, uh, if that's true, um, suck me. Anyway, I guess I'll let, uh, I'll just let this stuff finish cooking up. I'll get the, uh, obsidian in there as well, and then, uh, I'll be back with the Osgol glass. All right, here we go with the Osgol glass blocks, and, uh, if you just remind me, I need these for the keystone, so the only thing I don't have is the stone bricks, which I would have put back in the system. Right. Well, I need to get used to having this storage system. It's very convenient, but <laughs> not not remembering. I could have just done this, I suppose, right? Chiseled stone bricks? Stone brick, would that have worked? Would that have worked? No. Shame. Okay. Well, either way, there's a Gaia keystone. I have Gaia. There we go. Maybe that's Gaia, but I mean, I usually see that with an I, so anyway. Is an advancement too, which is always nice. So, uh, right, so we need to make a portal. So enter Erebus. Bring lots of food, good gear, a backpack, and water buckets. Water buckets? Interesting. I have no idea why it would be asking for water buckets, but I guess we're going to find out. So, Genki Stone, build a portal frame out of any kind of solid blocks and fill the middle with leaf blocks. And then the keystone in front of the portal at a staff of Gaia inside. Okay, so... This is cool. Let's make it out of wood because I think that's cool. 
and um, of course I just put the put the wood back in, but that's fine. Um, I just wanted to clean it up a little bit, put one more of those in. Uh, let's make it out of wood. I should have some oak leaves, that's fine, and the keystone. Okay, so this I'll put, I think, just up where I put the uh, thing. I don't know how often we're going to be going here, really, but, you know, it's probably going to be maybe often enough, right? So horizontal or vertical. I'll put it, let's make it horizontal. What if I made it in like the shape of a tree? Would that be cool or would that be lame? Let me move this. What's another like geographical shape, you know? Like, I realize this is not really a geographical shape, but I, at this point, I pretty much just want to know if this is even how it works. Right, because right now I don't, it's not insanely clear to me. So then we just put this in front and put the portal in it. Constructing the gate, that's a good sign. Hey! Very extremely cool. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, well, let's uh, go prepare, I guess. Um, so I will do some work cleaning out this inventory, and uh, then we will go to the Erebus. All right, well, I think this is going to do it. It's uh, it's said to take water buckets, right? Did it say anything else in particular? Food, good gear, a backpack, and water buckets. You're going to be inside for a while. I mean, I guess we could come back out, right? I guess we'll find out right now. Okay. I just, I, I, I cut out a very small amount of loading there. So I wasn't sure how long it was going to take. The other uh, gay staff is in here. There's the quest done. Okay, so that's how we get out. I really didn't expect this. We're just in a hole underground. What's the deal with this? So lots of quests. Find an antlion overlord pyramid. Are we supposed to be underground right now? We are in a biome called Underground Jungle, which may be a clue. If I just dig up, will I hit? Will I hit anything? Oh, I didn't take torches, did I? <laughs> Hopefully I can actually go back. I would have to go back, right? It would be awful if I couldn't go back. Okay. I'll go back and grab some torches. Yeah. Okay, that works fine. Okay, be right back with torches. Okay, bad sign. I dug up some more. And I hit bedrock, so I'm thinking maybe that's kind of intended to be the whole world here. Bedrock at the top, always probably going to mean that there's no sort of surface, right? That I can get to. Like, there's obviously stuff to do. But yeah, it's, it's not going to be up here. We got to keep going down there, which is interesting. But I guess I'll, uh, I'll just keep digging ahead. I do have this hammer that may come in handy here. I think this hammer is really, really slow. But we can try it out. So I guess I'll just go forward from, from this. Oh, yeah, that's too slow, I think. Yeah, originally I made this hammer to uh, to make it unbreakable, but that didn't quite work out. But I guess maybe this is something, right? Like there's no there's no indication. Like if I search Erebus, water bam bucket. How about at Erebus? Is there like some kind of book? I'm not seeing a book. I'm not seeing anything, really. Hmm. Lots of new mobs from this mod. Volcanic diamond ore, fossil ore, cool stuff, cool stuff. Maybe I should be digging down, I'm not sure. I guess I'll just go forward like this and let you know if I run into anything interesting. Okay, I've hit a cave, which I don't know if that counts as interesting, but I think I would. I think I would, right? So there's at least some stuff here. I should probably demarcate this somehow. 
That'll be kind of hard to miss. It looks, like, just naturally bright down in these caves, which is kind of interesting. Like, this is... I mean, I don't know if it's coming across in the video. I know videos can often be darker than, uh, you know, the, the, the source material, but this these are pretty bright down here. So I can vein mine the gold. And it's its own type of gold ore, so I wonder, does it have the same recipes? It is ore dictionary, so... Okay. Probably don't really need too much of that, but... Yeah, iron ore is fine. Gold ore is fine. If I see any of that fossil ore, I'll definitely grab it, though. I wonder if that's just going to be regular bones or something else. Botfly. Are you going to hurt me? Yes. Okay. We've slain a botfly. What am, I, what am I looking for here? Mud scarab. Antlion overlord pyramid. See, the fact that they mentioned underground makes me think something's wrong here because everything is underground. What's this? Biovelocity, solifuges, or centipedes. Maybe it's just this biome that's underground? Man. Dark fruit. Copper ore. It's fine. So is this, is this just a bug mod? Is that kind of its main deal? Erebus? You know what? Let me look up the word Erebus because that definitely, it's... It's a name that means something, right? Okay, so Erebus is a Greek god uh, that represents, or personifies, I should say, uh, darkness. So that's something. Um, that and or the kind of area between the, uh, the uh, overworld and Hades. It's not called the overworld, is it? It's <laughs> The, uh, just the earth, right? Yeah. Um, so that's cool. I love some Greek mythology references, but it worries me as to the uh, friendliness of what's going to be in this mod. So I don't know what I'm looking for still, right? Like, it, it talks about all these cool things, but I'm just underground right now, right? I've been in the same... Well, now I'm in an underground jungle. Oh, there's... Lead ore... Some Thomecraft stuff. If I could get out of the underground jungle, that would be really cool. Petrified wood. That seems like a new thing. Petrified wood. Very hard wood. I didn't mean to jump down there. Uh, it's fine. It really doesn't matter. But it just startled me because I didn't mean to. Also, I'm getting super duper lost. I, uh, I can't imagine getting out of here without uh slash home at this point so the fossil ore drops bone shards uh which are from Erebus. okay cool i'm not sure if there's going to be anywhere else to go down here i'm wondering if i just got really really unlucky with the uh, oh this is just quartz thought it was fossils did i just get really unlucky with the spawn is there an actual like surface i mean if it's Meant to be like a darkness like thing. Maybe not. I mean I'm down at the bottom now, right? I might as well go down. Is there bedrock at the very bottom as well? There is. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean I guess. I, I think I think I'm getting to the point where not only am I not really seeing much of anything new, it's probably not that interesting to just watch me. Uh... That scared me so much, and not only did it scare me, but I uh, I thought that it was coming from something else because of how sudden and loud it was. Um, temple or what have I done? What have I done to cause all this to happen? Umber cobble. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, but it's kind of going off. Have I have I triggered a boss fight? This is some boss fight ass music, if you ask me. Is this just the, the BGM for Erebus? I mean, I'm not seeing anything notable 
that would have triggered the music. I, th I think it's just, I think it's just the background music, but it's, in my opinion, not that suitable for for background music for a game like this. Wow. I mean, it's good music. Don't get me wrong here. I don't think I'm going to find my way out here, but I'm at least going to keep running around till I maybe see something. But, uh, well, before the music startled me, I was going to say that I would, uh, I would cut and, uh, just come back if I found anything interesting, because I feel like it's getting to the point where there's nothing really new to see. I'm just running around in a very bland underground cave. Um, so let's say that. Uh, I will I will do a cut. I'll run around for a bit. If I you know, I may end up like you know going back home to restock on stuff, re up the pick, maybe even just get back to where I was before, just for the sake of not being as lost as I am. Maybe it's going to be easier to run into some stuff there. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you back hopefully when something interesting happens. Okay, so I've decided I'm just going to go in one direction until I get out of this biome, because if this is the underground jungle, maybe I should get out of the underground jungle. Um, I found some of this stuff. Red gem. Seems kind of cool. Oh, it was, it was lit up, and I got a uh, red gem out of it. Oh, here we go. <gasps> oh my god. This is nuts. This is very nuts. Wow. Wow, holy shit. So this is... This is Erebus, really, I think. This is, like, the main sort of grasp of it, right? So no fall damage from the armor. That's fine. I see you, Tarantula. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is extremely cool. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Happy with this, I guess you could say. Harvestable with an axe. Maybe, well, why is that? Because uh, you have to shear. Oh, that's just like vines. Okay, fine. Wow, and what is this? Amaranth wood. Some sort of reed here. I'm going, I'm in the mud. Oh, you can't jump out of it. Oh, no. Bullrush. Yeah, okay. It does look like bullrush. Okay, well, I'll try not to get stuck in the mud. Um, in every sense of the word. Uh... Yeah, so I did see some stuff that looked like uh, bamboo before jumping down here. Here it is. Colossal bamboo. I'll get the axe out. Why not? Subterranean agriculture. Yeah, and the music is... Uh, I don't think it's fitting, but I mean, it goes, so... You know, it's, it's really fine, right? I'll go for the cobalt here because all my tools are made of it. Um, yummy. Erebus Co. Smoothie Matic 2000. Creating smoothies with various effects like potions. Man, this mod is just weird, I think. To me so far, my first impressions of this mod, a little weird. <laughs> like, cool. Cool, but weird. Definitely. I, I assume you can probably grow the bamboo yourself, right? I already have more than a stack of it. And we got some tarantula legs, which I believe there was a quest for. Um, yeah, so I'll just I'll get some more of this bamboo. There's some melons too, which is cool. Lots of the bamboo here. Amber might be useful as well. Didn't realize there was as much of it as as there was. Frozen macaroni. Okay. So let me just let me just harvest for a bit. I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the amber there. Fly. Don't tell me the fly is not gonna hurt me, right? I'm gonna hurt it, but it's not gonna hurt me. Oh my god, this is just like a fly in real life. Okay. What did it drop? Uh, I'm not sure what it dropped. Was it this? No. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. So, so there's the amber. Find some amber scattered around in Erebus and mine it up. And then the perfect combo. 
So it wants some mushrooms. Okay, find a fungal forest and collect a couple pieces of each type of large mushrooms. Okay, so right now we're in an underground jungle. Um, we're not going to be able to use the journey map thing, right? Because it, it it doesn't work with modded biomes, which is fine. But this is just really, really cool. Wow. That's just a spider. Praying mantis. Are you invisible? Wasps? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I've angered the hive. I don't know where the hive is, but I've angered it. Okay. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. They move in such an, an erratic way. Um, and I mean, so do I, but... Makes them pretty hard to hit regardless. Okay. Quicksand. I'll stay away from that then. Uh, moss, bark, wood. Okay. I was wondering why that was green. That tracks. So I wonder then, is everything... What was hurting me? The thorns, probably. Um... I'm wondering now, is everything in this biome underground then? Oh, I did fall in the quicksand. Okay, it's not too bad to get out of, which is good. Is everything in this uh, dimension underground, or is it just the stuff that I found? Because I am, it is the underground jungle, right? So, maybe, maybe not. What if I tried to go a little bit further this way? Okay, well... Okay, I think I have enough bamboo for right now. I'll just keep going in, in this direction until I get out of the underground jungle, I think. Let's kill this in with turnips. Nice. Those guys. I didn't mean to put that torch down, but... Yeah, it is, like I said, it's like naturally light in the Erebus too, which is nice. It's kind of the opposite of what I would expect, given the, the name, but... Anyway, okay, I'll just keep going east and I'll... Uh, Unless something cool happens, which I think it's about to. Hang on. What's this blue tree? Chameleon tick. Oh, my God. That's really cool. Oh, it's, like, terrifying, but it is very cool. Wow. A lot, picking up lots of random bullshit. <laughs> Camouflage powder. Wow. Not sure why I, I, I needed to get uh, buckets of water to, to come here as well, but stem, blue petal block. I wonder if you can make, like, dyes out of that or something. Uh, maybe? I mean, you probably can't just get straight lapis out of it, right? But maybe there's, like, other stuff. What is that? Like, a seed block? Blue stigma? Very cool, very cool. So it's very, like, plant and insect-based, this mod. It looks like Elysian Fields. Got a weeping bluebell there and a moth. Wow. Wow, I can't say anything other than, wow, this mod is just very cool. I've never seen it ever before. And I'm just, I'm uh, I'm blown away by how cool it is. This world gen is so insanely cool. And I, I wish I could get a better, hello, hello. I wish I could uh, think of a better word for it than just cool. But I can't, uh, but it is. <laughs> it is very, very cool. And, uh... So what do we have over here? This looks like a different biome. Ulterior Outback. This may be one of the ones mentioned here. Okay, Volcanic Desert is where I need to go for that. Ulterior Outback, okay. Solifuges and Centipedes, okay. So we need Biovelocity. So Solifuges and Centipedes, is that that? No, that's a fly. So I'm looking for a Solifuge. Is that a mob? I assume it is. I don't know what it looks like. I did find a centipede earlier, but I guess I didn't get any biovelocity from it. Just put some of this stuff away. Oh, that doesn't need to go in there, because you can just... There. Yeah. Wow. Is this, uh, is this it down there? Let's go get in a fight. Let's go cause problems. Another chameleon tick. Man, oh, they have such creepy animations, too. So well done. Wow. Oh, no, these are just tarantulas. Okay. Let's 
Midge Swarm. Oh no, realistic buzzing sounds. No, this is what I was worried about. The bot fly. What is that? Oh, Cytoads? No, that's not what I'm after. Thought it was for a second. Rhinoceros Beetle. Very, very cool. Meet the Beetles. We've met the Beetles. Another bot fly. Wow. I mean, I, <laughs> I have to say, like, I don't have, like, a fear of insects as such, but I don't. I don't like them, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, as, as much as this is just Minecraft, you know, they are done really, really well in terms of being a little creepy. So I have to hand it to them uh, on that. But, uh, yeah, very, very cool world gen. These scorpions over here. Scorpions are cool. Scorpions, I know, are they like technically insects or something like that? Nobody ever thinks of them like that way, even though they, like, undoubtedly are. Uh, what are you? What are, what are you? You're just, uh, are you a leech? Have I been latched onto? I don't know what to do about that. Maybe this is what the water was for. Maybe, maybe not. I guess not. Uh, I guess I just have a leech now. <laughs> um... Okay. I mean, it doesn't seem to be causing any problems, right? Mostly seems fine. So I guess I won't <laughs> worry about it. I guess I'll just keep it on here. Um, and the scorpions, I, th I, th I guess, can pick you up. Which is not, not good for me. Good for the scorpions, but maybe not good for me. Cyatoads, that's not what I'm looking for right now. Solifuge, solifuge, solifuges. Chameleon guys, honeypot plant. Will you guys F off? What is this? Oh, it's dung! No wonder there's so many flies around it, so many bot flies. Okay, well, let's pick it up. Hey, there's a bot fly spawner. Oh. Oh, no! Wait, did, did, I, did that just happen at the right time, or... Does that happen when you uh, actually pick it up? Okay, hang on. I know I'm getting owned. Hang on. There you go. That's a lot easier to deal with in some ways. Okay, what's in what's in here? Anything cool? Exoskeleton plate? Exoskeleton plate sounds kind of cool. Maybe that'll be useful for something. Another rhinoceros beetle. Some more cyatodes. Right, you 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 are just charging me. Look at this. They're spawning cobwebs too. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm like getting my ass kicked, and all I can talk about is how cool the mod is. It deserves it though. It really does. The uh, the one thing that's uh, bad. I took the uh, fall damage thing off, or the the slow. Oh, Solifuge. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, you, you did drop the cool stuff that I need here. Oh, did you spawn these guys? Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There you go. There's four bio velocities. Okay, so there those are. What's this? Droughted shrub. I just need to find one more solifuge, probably, right? And that should be good. I don't, I don't see any. Man. Okay, there's some over there. I can't get over this mod. Why do I have hunger? Slow down. Oh, those guys are levitation. Well, that doesn't bother me because of the fall damage thing. Get me out of here, man. Why did I take? I didn't. It's right there. Get me out of here. Get me to safety, man. I think I'm safe here. Okay. 
Oh, I, I can get some more bio velocity. Well, what does that kind of do for me? Velocity block. Any entity on top will be pushed in the direction the arrow is pointing with five times the base walking speed. Mobs can spawn on these blocks. Mob farm floor. Sure. Okay. And that's just nine of those. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. And then you can make even faster ones, I guess. So I need to find a, uh, a fungus biome. And I need to uh, to find a bunch more stuff, it looks like. But um, yeah, for uh, for now, I didn't realize how long this episode has gone. I assume this guy is just a visual bug at this point. Oh my god, no, he's, uh, he's real. Is he? Why can't I hit him with the sword? But I can hit him with whatever else I have. Okay, well... Anyway, um, I realize now that uh, we've run a little long here, but I kept getting distracted by this very cool new dimension that I've never been to before. But um, I am just going to go ahead and end it there, and we'll continue our adventures in uh, Erebus next time. But for now, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.